We are in the Maldives. Luxurious in such unexpected ways than I have yet to experience so far. You peeing right now? You got a full audience too. Look, right over here. Got my babe on. Crab busta. This is the reality of Brennan's skin. Google how to fix my pregnant wife's behavior. <laughs> the moment, please. Yeah, I'm done. It's time to go to one of our favorite places on earth, the Maldives. <laughs> Guys, can you see how happy he is? My mommy used to buy me these. Oh, I'm, I'm literally crying, Brennan. That's how you know I'm pregnant. Prepare for landing. babes and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog i feel like it's been forever since i picked up this camera and i know there's been a gap on youtube mainly because we got pregnant there's a lot of baby content to film and we are finally back in business doing another travel vlog i'm super excited because we are in the maldives and brennan and i booked one of our dream hotels it's called soniva johnny and this has been a hotel tell that's been on my vision board since 2015 which I believe is when the hotel opened and when I initially started to see all of the influencers on Instagram post about this waterslide hotel and I'm pretty sure this is the OG waterslide hotel where every single villa in at least Sunny Johnny have a water slide and for the longest time <laughs> this hotel had a price tag that I could never justify that was way out of my reach that was something that I was still in the process of manifesting. And finally, we are here for our very first baby moon and we decided to make it super special and do the water slide hotel. And also, of course, we were influenced by Angie and Jeremy and they are incredible influencers. If you don't follow them, I definitely recommend it. They're amazing and they stay here every single year. And they told us that this is gonna be like one of our favorite hotels. So we are doing Soniva Johnny and Soniva Fushi. So we're doing six nights here three nights there for a total of nine nights for baby moon number one their policy here is no news no shoes which means that they confiscate your shoes and they tell you never to check the news which i totally stand by and i'm obsessed with so i just literally have my bare feet which is kind of fun and from this point on we're gonna enjoy the maldives so first things first let's get some breakfast brennan you ready freddie it's breakfast time it's breakfast time it is hot, it is bright, we're going to breakfast. What's nice about this hotel is they're very used to influencers, so having huge cameras is like no big deal. We just vlogging. Okay, so that's the breakfast area over there. They have a chocolate room An ice made cream room. for pregnant ladies. Boomy. It's not a boomy. Delicious. Calvin's ready. ready to sleep in the ocean. I'm ready to just float. So we just made a quick stop. We're exploring the island right now. And this is their organic garden. Now they don't grow everything on the island because obviously lots of things are imported in general and the Maldives soil isn't the best. It's mostly sandy. Look at this lettuce. Look how good that looks. This literally is farm to table. Saniva is a place that prides themselves on really being sustainable luxury. And it's like extremely luxurious. Sustainability has become a tag word, you know, something that people use as a marketing tool. But when you actually see a place that's focused on on both the epitome of luxury as well as sustainability, it's pretty neat and it's pretty unique. So, yeah. All right, you guys. 
guys, it is time for the long-awaited Villa Tour. Welcome to Villa number 20. We are filming during the hottest time of the day, but it's because it's so beautiful. I mean, like, look at the freaking water right now. So in case you wanna like poop and look at fish at the same time, they have a nice little watering hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a family channel, y'all. It's not a kid's channel. No, it's channel. not. You say f too much. Okay, we have our little office slash study. I will definitely be doing some stuff with my students here this week because I do have a QA. and a We have some drinks. They make homemade ice cream sandwiches. Wait, it's gluten-free and dairy-free. Get out. Let's hurry this so we can eat the ice cream sandwich, okay? This is the bougiest bedside table menu in room amenities that you can order. The whole back side of this is a freaking pillow menu. This is perfect for pregnancy, which by the way, I am now 23 weeks tomorrow. Give it the side profile. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Do you want to open the skylight? Oh, wait, how did I forget that? You ready? Ready, ready, ready. So good. Okay. There's a little kid's room. They can convert it into a little bed. This is what a five-star Harry Potter cover looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone on Instagram guessed that we're naming our child Harry because of Harry Potter. And I'm like, nice try, but definitely not. Has an indoor-outdoor entrance in here. Check out this marshmallow bed. Post-shower, it feels so good. And then we have an outdoor shower, an outdoor bath. What's so nice is that this is actually entrance into the ocean. So when you're done swimming, you can come up under over here. You can just enter straight into the shower from out here. Okay, you guys ready for the best part? Follow me. We have a water slide. Hmm, how do I get up to the water slide? Well, follow me. <laughs> My inner child is so excited. That's it, villa number 20. We're obsessed, it's only our first full day here. I'm just so excited to explore so much more. Look at the seaplane. Who's got dinner in two hours? King and queen of over-ordering. To be fair, my suggestion was just these two things. Brennan brought in- You know in, what, you wanted to be all like that, but then you had me in the pool Honestly, and the I'm tub. excited about that. And yeah, Well, dinner's gonna be sushi, so we can like eat lightly. Okay, so we're doing dinner at a place called Director's Cut. And what's cool about this restaurant is that it's a silent movie theater. And I think it's so genius because around like seven o'clock they put on a kid's movie so you can wear headphones and then hear the movie and that way the parents can just like talk. And then at 9 p.m. they put on an adult movie. So tonight is Slumdog Millionaire. So we'll see if we'll stay up for the movie. But I'm really excited, we're doing sushi. This body pillow right now. <laughs> is amazing like i need to take this home this is very luxurious it's luxurious in such unexpected ways like there's more options in details at this hotel than i have yet to experience so far Good morning, it is day two of our Maldivian vacation and today is what we call a content day today, which means that we're gonna take a bunch of pictures, we're gonna do a bunch of Instagram reels and just utilize the great weather and the great water and all of the factors that it takes to create beautiful content before we get into some of the more relaxing slash adventurous things like snorkeling and massages. Ooh, what is that? I don't think that's anything, I think it's a rock. Oh, okay. It's another 
very warm day. The guy who came in to do our room, he was like, oh, it's hot today. It's gonna be a hot day, there's no breeze. We're like, well, it's gonna go it's great shark. for photos. It's hey, a there's shark. a shark right there. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. All the shark and fish interruptions from Benin, what was I saying? First, we're gonna get breakfast, so we're both in a really good mood because we're fed. <laughs> Key number one, anything work-related ever, you have to eat. Yeah, Brennan, Sorry. we just had an agreement that we wouldn't interrupt each other and all you're doing is interrupting me. Okay you guys, we're here at breakfast and I just want to show you a couple of offerings that they have in here. First things first, they have a freaking pastry room. <laughs> I've never seen so many honeys in my entire life. So many pastries, so many options like gluten-free, vegan. They have a whole ice cream room filled with sugar-free vegan ice cream. Every single flavor is dairy-free. What? I've never seen so many healthy options. And remember, this is all grown from that organic garden that we showed you guys before. for the course when you're an Instagram husband and you gotta take your phone in the water and just tread with the shit above your head to get the money shot on the slide. <sighs> yep, go. Oh my God, Catherine, your videos are so beautiful. Oh my God, Catherine, I love your content. The water is so amazing. Oh my God, Catherine, how do you shoot photos like that? She has me working. Ready? Been ready. Are you peeing right now? You got a full audience too, look, right over here. And yet, here you are, peeing in the water. This cloud is annoying us. Gotta work with sun, clouds, water levels, weather, moods, hunger. I don't know what you're talking about. I have mad respect for influencers who do this full time. It's not easy. Looks like they're just click clacking a bunch of pictures, but damn. Are you happy? I'm so happy, look how beautiful this is. Got a little sunken eating nook. Wow, I'm telling you, the water, it's just not doing it justice right now because it's sunset. She look hot. crab dining experience. Here's the backstory. We had the Sri Lankan mud crabs at a different Maldives resort. First of all, these mud crabs, we literally have driven past them and they're this big. So this is a whole restaurant based upon these mud crabs and they do them all different ways. So they have like black pepper, chili crab, which is like the famous one, steamed mud crab with like garlic, cumin, ginger, basil. And then the other thing too is they have ceviche, they have prawns a la plancha. We're gonna eat good here. It's always interesting when Brennan's whispering because I'm not used to it. We talked about this the other day that Americans are so fucking loud. No offense. I'm basically American so I can say that. I'm American. Right? Brennan's American as fuck. And there's a lot of Europeans here and they're just so quiet. In fact, they're like staring at me because I'm talking too loud now. <laughs> so Brennan and I literally at every meal just like pss, pss, pss. <laughs> So forever whispering, it's probably because we're at dinner and there's tables of very quiet people around us. I'm not gonna broadcast our whole conversation to them because they have their own life to live, so. A little tequila for lunch. Be a crab buster. Brennan is working really hard. He's a bit stressed. I literally just spent a bunch of time, and this is my reward. 
<laughs> but it's gonna be bomb. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. Really damn good. Update, we sweating. My hands are nasty, I'm sweating. I don't know what I'm wiping on my hands versus my face anymore. Do not come here for a romantic lunch. No, this is this is like going to a garlic bar on a date. This is some serious marriage type shit. Jesus Christ, I need a fing beer. How is the crab shack? Crab shack is amazing. It's hot. It's very hot. We'll have to sit in the refrigerator right now. Okay, it's finally massage time. Woo, it's so bright. Gotta put my sunglasses on. So I live a dream today. I have a 90 minute prenatal massage. As soon as they said it's an on the side massage, I was like, Fuck yeah, because if you've ever gotten prenatal massages, you obviously have a belly in the way, right? So you can't lay on your tummy. However, some places try. And so they put up like these bolsters. You're like propped up on the massage table and you can like put your boobs and belly into this like one particular section. I don't like it. It feels weird. I really love on the side massages, especially because that's actually how I sleep. But nevertheless, that's what I'm doing first. Oh my God, babe, babe, babe. Come here, come here, come here. There's a really cool manta. Okay, anyway, while Brennan catches up on the manta, he's right there. He was really close to our villa. He's right by the slide. Will you put this towel over my shoulders? No. Put this towel over my shoulders. No, like, like, I'm wrapping. Babe. Oh yeah. my God. This is so typical here. I gotta go. Okay, go. Oh. Oh. Anyway, going to the first massage of the gathering, and then I have an afternoon scalp and facial massage with Brennan. He's doing a sports massage. I'm doing a scalp and facial massage, which is going to be at their really nice island spa. Supposedly, it's like the best spa in the Maldives. Follow me to the first massage. Let's go. So we're going to the spa. For better or for worse, we just ate that enormous lunch. My sleep has been perfect here, honestly, but my diet, it's been a little weird. I'm like, a little bit of breakfast, shit ton of lunch that ruins dinner. And then everyone is like, are you okay? Is the food not good? I'm like, yes, the food is delicious. I'm the problem, because I'm eating too much at lunch. But you know, jet lag, you just deal with it. So we're headed to the spa. This incredibly gorgeous vixen is in for like a, what, a 60 or a 90 minute head rub, basically. Mm -hmm. I've never had that before in my life. And I'm in for, I think a 90 minute sports massage. Sports massage. Dinner is not till eight and it's not three thirty. And what are we doing for dinner tonight? Under the stars. What's it called? What's it called? Under the stars? So starstruck. So, so starstruck. Star and this, our butler Rahu. So what, what is so starstruck? So we have a telescope there and an in-house astronomer for tables. So it's super private and he will be explaining the night sky while you're dining. While Sounds she amazing. is focused on eating. <laughs> Eating, I will be learning about all of the stars. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds like a plan. Oh, okay. she took the other side. Okay, I got you. Oh my gosh, I had a 30 minute scalp massage and then I had a vitamin C facial. So I got my face massaged, but also like cleaned and scrubbed and masked. It's so good. I had a massage with Julian, who is a Fresh. super professional body worker who's here kind of on like a guest. They have a lot of guests. So they have like guest chefs who come, they have guest personal trainers, guest body workers, guest what astronomers, guest astrophysicists that all come here to basically do their magic on people for a period of like a month or two. I just emerged from Hogwarts with some serious magic done on me. I rebooked. I'm a repeat customer. <laughs> 
9 a.m. tomorrow, removing all the things that aren't serving me, adding all the things that do serve me. Now we're sneaking up on my massage therapist, Julian, right now. Well, hey, hitch a ride, my friend. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nice sunset. It oh, is. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Did they make a bath for you? Did they read your mind? Did they make something Why for the baby like, mama? They made something for the baby mama? Aw, cute. Okay. Trying to have another baby. I see what's going on. I see. Do you want a cone? Oh my god, they have cones. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want a sofa. Come on. Uh -huh. Who's ready for a recap? Four. What have we been up to the last few days? We have now been at Sydney Johnny for how long? I think it's our fourth, like, fourth full day. Fourth full day. <laughs> what have we been getting into? Brennan's doing this thing that I don't like where he just interviews me. Welcome to Sydney Johnny. This is my island paradise and it's cool. I like it. There's been many influencers here before, but never have there been an influencer like me. <laughs> or like us. Because this channel, we do shit a little different. Last night we did the stargazing experience. We didn't do any vlog footage from there, but Marvin, 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 I think, that's how you pronounce his name, was super awesome. He was the astronomer, 21 years old. Talking about manifesting your dream life. He's the lead astronomer at Suniva Johnny at 21 years old. That's pretty badass. He taught us all sorts of cool tricks and like we connected over photography and he taught us how to shoot stars. I had no idea. But that was our experience last night. We had great food and today we're taking it easy. We're doing snorkeling today. Yes, we are. I'm in preparation for a little q and I'm doing tomorrow. Brennan got a massage this morning. Catherine's jealous because she likes to give me massages all the time. And currently we're sitting in our favorite place, the brunch spot. Breakfast, brunch. But I mean the view is incredible. Brunchy brunch. So here we have a butterfly pea flower which are growing in our garden. So I already infused in the hot water and the color it comes by itself. If we put the lemon juice, the color Ooh. will change. That's oh, cool. Wow. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Thank you. So it tastes like a fresh lemonade. That was lovely. Thank that's you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Beth and Brennan, junkies for the stevia. It's like lemonade. It looks beautiful. I'm not wearing this every day now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to vlog this, you guys. This is the reality of Brennan's skin. Catherine literally just told me. Like this bitch literally just said to me, this is the reality why you can't be an influencer. You don't have skin like Jeremy Austin. <laughs> It's like, excuse me. I'm just saying, like, you're, you burn so easily, so you have to look like this. I'd rather you be healthy than look good in photos. That's, that's a trade-off. Maybe we can start a trend, just put, putting enormous amounts of sunscreen on you. So what are we doing now? Where are we going? Snorkeling. Sounds fun. Can I see that belly? Damn, you look great right now. Rahul, you look so tiny next to him. Like, like a little kid. <laughs> All right, it is time for a snorkel. We're doing the house reef here at Sunny Vajani. There is like a paid excursion that we can do, probably way better. But we hear that the snorkeling at Fushi is incredible. And so we're gonna hold out for that in terms of like the more intense things. But they have a house reef here and it's apparently really beautiful. It's free. Oh, we gotta go. Where, oh, where could she be? <laughs> About to hop in the water. The water is so stunning. Well, if you don't look ridiculous from your goggles, you didn't have any fun. Do you have any marks? I was watching the plane land the first time, uh, yeah. and then he goes, shark. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, wait, is he yelling shark to warn us right, or okay. to show us? I think to show us. I know it was to show us, but I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> I was very impressed. The house reef was really nice. And now we're headed to relax and eat, right? Yeah. To relax and eat. Yes. Swim? Yeah. Thank you. 
people. We're a little late for dinner, but that's okay. Tonight we're going to overseas. Uh, you're talking to me and tell me for the fifth time that we're late. Well, we are. Brendan's always late, and it's then true. when I'm late, it's like he has a f***ing panic attack. Yeah, it's like I'm seeing myself in the person that's not me. Exactly. This is fun, boo. So guys, we're sitting at overseas right now. This is a really cool concept. I'm sure there's lots of overwater dining experiences in the Maldives, but like, guys, scope this out. This is so cool. Check this out. So welcome to overseas restaurant by Chef Matias Thirteen. If you want to go for a chef choice, it will be three dishes plus side dishes and desserts. It's a baby boy. To baby boy. And to mama. And to papa. And to big papa bear. So, did you have fun snorkeling today? I really enjoyed just moving in the water for like 35 minutes. It was so vibrant. It was really beautiful. There was so many fish. We saw a shark for a second, but like a little shark. I alerted the whole group to this puffer fish. You wouldn't believe how big they are. They're like really big. They're probably a foot and a half long. So it's not like it's this small thing that just like puffs up. It's like this big thing that turns into like a small exercise ball. And I had fun chasing my baby mom around. Today was a really fun day. Yeah, it only took five days. <laughs> no, it took a conversations, communication. Catherine and I have Conflict this, management. Catherine and I have this reputation of like arriving in the Maldives in like this perfect paradise and just like having all of our shit come up. Mm -hmm. Catherine's mad emotional. I'm kind of short tempered and we just don't really like click the right way. But then like first. we figure it out and we have like an amazing time every time. So for everyone out there who's just like, oh my God, Catherine's life is so perfect. She's in the Maldives. Their relationship is goals. Just know that like everything is beautiful, but we fight like y'all too. Mm -hmm. And then we figure it out. Mm -hmm. And that's life. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're having dinner, eating amazing carpaccio. Luku showed up to eat with us. We've had an amazing dinner. I didn't record any of the mains which were bomb, and I ate all of them because Catherine ordered 14 types of avocado, so I had to eat all the mains myself. You're not noticing what I'm doing. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you have sugar? I don't know, but you're not even noticing what I'm I doing. I'm literally you. going like... <laughs> I don't know how to help at this stage. Is this a pregnancy thing? Is there a book I can read? Google how to fix my pregnant wife's behavior at the moment, please. Okay, I'm done. So sorry. I just literally burped into the mic like full on. <laughs> we have to close it down. We gotta get out. Damn, you just killed my B-roll. 